Aaron Rodgers is not in the NFC North anymore. Thank oh, I know. Jesus. Happy was... on my way home from work. I called a couple people. I said, celebrate this moment. Do you was... remember where you're at? It's like 9-11 for us, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh... he, he was 24-5 and five against the Bears. Can you believe it? Unreal. It's um, just unreal. And... I, mean, I can believe it. I've been to a lot of, lot of Bears-Packers games. I've just seen it. Okay. I, I had a game I remember I went to where we, we took uh, – we took my two little nephews, and they both live in Wisconsin. One of them was a Bears fan, and one of them was a Packers fan. And it was, uh, like, third or fourth coldest game ever. It was one of those late December games. Yeah, it was, like, negative eight out there. We were freezing up in the 400 section. And uh, in the fourth quarter, like, in the two-minute drive, we wind up tying the ball game. And we're all pumped, and we're like, this is what it's about. Like, doesn't matter about the weather. doesn't matter about the cold. Like, we're here to win this thing, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And with like 30 seconds left, Rodgers just chucks like a 70-yard bomb to Jordy Nelson, and Jeez. the rest was over. And it's like, man, the guy won't even let me sit in freezing cold temperatures to overtime. He took <laughs> that away from me. Like, yeah, I hate him. I really do. Well, you know, the I, I refer to this game as the painkiller game when Khalil Mack started off with like two sacks and a forced fumble and an interception, you know? Or whatever the hell. Like, it was his first yeah. game as a bear. And then Aaron Rodgers comes back. And then, of course, in the post game, his voice is deep as hell. And, and like, it was clear to me that he was on painkillers. And then it was revealed a year ago, like, on an interview. He said, yeah, I was totes on, like, Percocet or whatever. Like, no, he loves drugs. He loves drugs. Not yeah, he does. We'll see how he does against Josh Allen and Tua Tagovailoa and Tyreek Hill uh, in that division because... It's not that easy, so um, the Patriots had it for years, but now the other teams in there are all clawing at it. He's definitely uh, he's definitely a good missing piece there. Um, hold on, sorry. I just think it's funny he winds up with Zach Wilson as his backup. Mm-hmm. Didn't he say earlier in the year, whatever veteran comes in here, I'm going to make his life hell? <laughs> like, <laughs> Right. Good luck with that, Zach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here comes Rodgers. Like, uh, <laughs> um, Now's the time he's... to learn, young Zach. Do we play that division this year? It doesn't but, look like it. No, yeah, it looks okay. like so. So really, the only chance of us seeing him would be in a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. See you later. Bye.